afternoon. I'm uh, Vice Admiral uh, Christian Kainova. I'm uh, retired from uh, the French Navy and I'm uh, the defense and operational advisor of the CEO of FECA Group. Good afternoon, my name is Mark Pinto. I'm the scientific advisor to the CEO of uh, ECA Group. The deeper ocean floor uh, will be an increasing crucial issue in the incoming decade to respond effectively to the dual requirement of scientific knowledge and military intelligence. The ability to collect data must constantly adapt to new challenges and technological advances. Whereas the deep sea was until now difficult to access, except for scientific research campaign, it has now become necessary to understand this environment, monitor it, and be able to intervene in it. Indeed, 95% of the world information flow today passes through 450 submarine cables lying on the ocean floor. Yet, some countries already have the capability to reach such depth to intercept or intervene on communication pa passing through these cables. Monitoring them to ensure the integrity of the data uh, will be an important issue that will only increase over time. The deep ocean is, a, is an area which ECA knows very well, and we have already addressed uh, that segment for both offshore and uh, scientific uh, applications. Uh, we presently have a 3,000 meter rated uh, AUV called the A18D, which has been used in the Eastern Mediterranean for gas bed surveys. And we also, um, in another program, uh, we, we have um, 6,000 meter rated AUV for scientific explorations. Um, so there are numerous challenges in making uh, vehicles uh, which uh, such deep ratings, uh, which relate to the, the ability to have all the sensors working in, in such high uh, pressures. Um, additional challenges uh, which we will face in this uh, seabed warfare application is the necessity to have a very accurate positioning of the underwater drones um, because at present for many of the civilian applications the positioning is achieved with the surface ship at the vertical uh, of, the, of the drone. And that's not always compatible with military applications uh, uh, which require the autonomous survey of large areas uh, of the seabed. So both uh, navigation autonomy and more general mission autonomy will, will be the big uh, challenges uh, which we will face uh, for the military applications in, in the deep uh, ocean. Uh, the, the deep ocean is a kind of new frontier for underwater uh, applications and often compared to outer space. And that's because of the difficulty of communicating with the vehicle and positioning the vehicle as, of course, there is no access to the global positioning system or any part of the electromagnetic spectrum uh, at such uh, deep water depths. For the IFREMER, which is the French inst Research Institute for the Exploitation of the Sea, uh, ECA Group has developed a 6,000 meter rating AUV called CORAL. And uh, this, this system will be used, uh, equipped with a, a high resolution sonar for, for seabed mapping and in general uh, increasing the knowledge of, of the seabed and, and the water column in, in such deep areas. So ICA has been working for many years on uh, uh, deep uh, water AUVs for both scientific and commercial applications and is ready now to leverage these technologies for military applications as, these, uh, as the requirements become available. Um, in particular, the technologies for uh, putting sonar and operating sonars at these, uh, at these depths is well mastered by ECA, who regularly operates uh, deep water 6,000 meter rating synthetic aperture sonars uh, on, on its commercial and scientific applications. And ECA is also working on uh, navigation solutions for, uh, for vehicles at such uh, great depths, which will in the future 
uh, allow the platform to navigate uh, autonomously without a surface ship uh, on the surface. In addition to autonomous vehicles, uh, ECA Group is also developing uh, ROVs, remotely operated vehicles. Um, quite a few of these are used for uh, civilian applications, but for the French Navy, ECA Group has a submarine uh, rescue ROV, uh, which, which is used at great depth uh, to provide assistance to a, a submarine uh, uh, in difficulty underwater.